I made the best TTS widgets for streamers and it's not even close. It is packed full with features that you can turn on and off as you desire. You can have TTS play immediately or you can put it in a queue so that you need to press a button for the next TTS to play. It can send messages to Discord with their username, TTS message, and even a link to the VOD so you can easily find when your question was answered. Oh, and if you are really interested, it can even track how many messages you didn't answer and record the value of that TTS in a sort of dead tracker. And if that isn't enough, you can customize it so it looks great on your screen. Are you struggling to make short form content out of your amazing streaming content? Then this is the game changer for you. And the best thing, it won't cost you any extra time. Nexus Clips automatically analyzes all your streams in real time and uses advanced algorithms to select the best moments for your short form content. Then with only a few clicks, you can go from raw clip to a fully edited short with the title card, subtitles, really everything you need to have it ready to post to YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. Create shorts every week that please the algorithm and get seen by potential viewers to grow your stream easily and automatically with Nexus Clips. Create your account now by following the link in the description. Thank you Nexus Clips for sponsoring this video. The installation isn't trivial, but I made it as simple as I could. So make sure you follow every step of the way. And if it doesn't work, join the Discord and we will troubleshoot where we can. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Before we start though, let's first make sure we have everything that you need to do this. First things first, streamer.bot. If you don't have that yet, what are you doing? Streamer.bot is the most powerful bot for your streams and I could not have built it so easily without this. While I will be using the new dark mode streamer bot to show you how to set this up, this also works on the light mode 0.26 version. While streamer.bot is going to lift the heavy burden, we are going to need speaker.bot as well, as this will, well, as the name suggests, do the speaking. On top of that, we are also going to need four OBS plugins. The move and source copy plugins by Exceldro, the advanced masks plugin by Finite Singularity, and the waveform plugin by Fandasm. I will leave links to these in the description and installing these is simple. On the website, click the download button and find the version that fits with your operating system. In my case, I run Windows, so I will grab the windows.zip and once downloaded, extract these directly into my OBS folder. Okay, now that these are all prepped, Let's open up streamer.bot and get that set up as well. I'm not going to go through the whole installation right now, but there's a video on my channel which shows you everything that you can do and shows you how to set it up, which you can watch after this video. Right now, what we need to do is connect to Twitch, YouTube and OBS. And to do that, you first need to open the platforms page, open Twitch and log into your account. If you're going to use YouTube, then make sure to also jump into that tab and log into that account as well. For OBS, head into the Stream Apps menu and open the OBS Studio menu. Right click the big box and click Add. Now open your OBS and open the WebSocket server settings from the Tools menu. Toggle on the WebSocket server and click Show Connect Info. Head back into streamer.bot and copy the host, port and password from the show connect info page into streamer.bot. Make sure to give the connection a name and tick auto connect and reconnect on and click okay. You should see it connect to your OBS nice and quick. Now it's time to set up speaker.bot. And for this, I can only recommend following the official guide because it is really, really good. I will leave a link to this in the description below as well. However, because of the way that we are going to use speaker.bot, we do not have to set up our Twitch and YouTube accounts here. We will just connect the streamer.bot, but we will do that later. Right now, you have an important decision to make. You need to choose who will be providing your TTS services. And there are quite a lot of these. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but there are two that I would recommend. The first one is Google Text-to-Speech API which is marked as a free trial, but you get like 1 million characters per month. And since Twitch messages can only be 500 characters, that means you can have 2000 TTS messages at least per month, which should be enough for most people. After that, it costs you $4 per million characters if you use their normal voices and $16 if you use their more advanced voice processors. If you want to go completely free, then you can go for TTS Monster, which has a limited free tier where you can not choose all of their voices, 
but at least you get unlimited messages. However, I still suggest to use the Google API because there are two downsides to TTS Monster that I realized when I was using it. First, the processing time on the free tier is 10 to 15 seconds, which is quite long if you're waiting for the TTS to play live on stream. And secondly, right now, you can't even make an account on TTS Monster unless you are a Twitch affiliate or partner. The Google API is a little complex to set up, but it's absolutely worth it. First, click the Google Cloud TTS link on the speaker.bot setup page and log in with your Google account. Once you've done that, in the top left, you can create a new project and call it something you will remember, such as streamer.bot TTS. Open up the hamburger menu and head to the API and services tab. Then you just search for the text-to-speech and enable the cloud text-to-speech API. So far, so good. This is where we are going to dive into the nitty gritty, so pay attention. Open the credentials page and click create credentials for a service account. Give the account a name you will recognize and click create and continue. Ignore the next bit and just click continue and then click done. You should now be able to see a tab with service accounts. And once you can see the account we've just made, click the edit button on the right side. Head into the keys and add a new key. Create a new key and then choose JSON and create. This will immediately download a file. Make sure to save this in a place where you can easily find it and it needs to remain there for as long as you use speaker.bot. Then in speaker.bot, head to the settings, speech engines tab and add the Google Cloud TTS. That will prompt you for the JSON file you've just downloaded. And once you add that, you should see a whole list of Google-based TTS voices show up. If you've gotten this far, congratulations. You've done the hard part. Now you will want to head into the voice alias tab and give your voice a name and click add. Then in the drop down list, you can find the language you want. For me, that is English. And you can try out the voices by clicking test speak. Once you've found the one you want to use, then you can add it to your voice alias by clicking the add button next to the volume slider. To make sure that this voice is used in speaker.bot, head into the general tab and set one of the voice aliases you've just made as the standard and the highlight voice alias. Finally, for the audio output device, choose where your TTS voice should go and you are done setting up your speaker.bot. But right now, streamer.bot is talking to your Twitch, YouTube and OBS, but your speaker.bot is talking to Google. So we need to connect your streamer.bot to your speaker.bot. But this is simple. In speaker.bot, head into the WebSocket server settings and tick the auto start and start the server. Then in streamer.bot, head into the integrations tab and choose speaker.bot and set it to auto connect and auto reconnect. Then click connect and you've just connected your streamer.bot to speaker.bot. Okay, the hard part is finally over. How are you feeling so far? I hope you're not too overwhelmed. If you are, take a deep breath and have a look at this picture of a cute dog. It's time to install the TTS widget itself. So now we get to do the fun part. First, you need to find the download in the description below or from the Content Delta website, contentdelta.online. When you've downloaded it, make sure to choose the one that works for your version of streamer.bot and extract it. First, you're gonna have to take the folder that contains an icon and put it somewhere where you can find it. Then in OBS, go into the tools menu, source copy and load scene and import the scene into your OBS. Head into the scene and find the icon source, right click and open the filters. In the advanced mask filter, browse the image and find the icon you've just extracted to complete the look of the widget, else things might go a little weird. Now all you need to do is find the scenes you want to add the TTS widget to and add a new scene source and choose the widget. Then it's time to head into streamer.bot because that should be the last thing you need to do in your OBS. Click the import button at the top and drop in the streamer.bot import file. That should have added a new section to your streamer.bot and a whole load of actions. But don't worry, you will only need to touch three of them. The first two are the show TTS box and hide TTS box options. These are completely dependent on you and just allow you to set actions that show or hide the TTS widget from whatever scenes you want it to exist on. The last one is the important one. This is the setup action. The first three questions are all about how you want your TTS bot to look. If you want to have it on dark mode, 
leave it on dark. Otherwise, change the mode to light. For the highlight color, choose whatever color fits your brand. Then at the top, you can right click the stream.bot starter trigger and test it to see what it would look like on your stream. For the orientation, you can choose left, center or right. This changes what orientation your TTSQ has compared to the message and what side your message folds out from. The voice alias is the voice that you've just set up in speaker.bot. So just copy and paste the name into this. And then come the real choices. If you want to have it so that whenever someone does a TTS message, it will automatically play without you needing to do anything, then turn off the TTS queue by setting it to false. If you want to have full control over when your TTS plays, then you can enable it by setting it to true. Once you've set it to true, there's nothing you need to do. It will set everything up automatically. The TTS log allows you to push every question you answer to your Discord with a link to the VOD with an exact timestamp so that people can rewatch the answer to their specific question in case they want to re-listen or maybe they missed it because they were doing something else. If you want this enabled, there's a little extra step you need to do in your Discord and that starts by making a new channel called the message log where your log will send the messages to. Then in the server settings, head into the integrations and make a new webhook. Call this whatever you want and set the channel to your new message log channel. Copy the webhook URL and paste that in the TTS log discord URL in your streamer.bot and that's set up. If you want your TTS bot to track the number of TTS messages that you didn't answer and to add the value of those to a debt tracker so you can donate it to charity or use it for giveaways for your community, then you just go through the same process again. Make a channel, make a webhook and copy the webhook URL into the TTS Debt Tracker Discord URL. Currently, the TTS widget works with Twitch, YouTube, and Channel Point Redemptions, but you can set it up to work with Pali.gg, Kofi, Stream Elements, and Streamlabs as well very easily. All you need to do is go into the integrations and log into the streamer.bot website and whichever of these platforms you want to use. And just like that, your TTS widget has been set up. But we will be updating the widget with more of the platforms that streamer.bot supports. So if you have any suggestions for integrations or different widgets, then join me on Twitch where I build these widgets live on stream every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. And if you are curious what else streamer.bot can do, then check out my beginner guide to streamer.bot right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.